engrossed in the Paralympics, uh, which there's two days left of. Watching those amazing athletes on the on the swimming in the Aqua Center. Anyway, we are here for Nando's number 57, Nando's 57 video, and um, I'm here. Obviously, Chris is behind the camera, and uh, we're waiting on others to arrive, and then we'll go have some Nando's food, and we'll rate and like or dislike, etc. But uh, I'm going to get back to watching these swimmers. Hi. Uh, I'd just like to explain that we are in Fulham Broadway because it hadn't been explained previously. And this yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, this sorry. Nando's 57, and it's actually probably the longest gap we've been between them, definitely between the videos, because the last one was in June. It's fucking September. Where I, I, my mouth is dry of chicken. I'm here, Chris. Hello, I'm Annabelle. My mouth is also dry of chicken, so um, I probably won't rectify that today, but happy to be here. I'm Char, I haven't been Nando's in ages, still kind of fucking sick of Perry Perry, but there you go, I do it for you guys. Hello, it's Nando's, we haven't done Nando's since June fam, fair time. Me is hungry for some chicken in it. Hello, do you want chicken? Oh, I fucking want chicken. When was the last time you went to Nando's? Oh, uh, it was Brighton, and I was just telling my sister oh, about Brighton and the noisy children at Brighton and the trippy toilet walls at Brighton. But I do remember quite enjoying the food at Brighton, so I was alright with Brighton. YouTube link for Brighton here. And so uh, get the new gas, Mel. Are you looking forward to chicken? Um, looking forward to chicken. So What's your favourite Nando's that you've been to? New York. New York. <laughs> What's so good about New York other than it sounding impressive? Uh, I don't know, it's just a lot better. It's about you get bigger portions. Oh yeah, they're very big. You can eat like three times your body weight over there. So. And that's all of us. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, there's seven of us. So we're gonna go over there eventually, probably when we're uh, when we're drunk. Uh, first impressions, we're inside the shopping centre. It reminds me of uh, a couple of other um, Nando's that have been inside shopping centres, like the one in Touchwood in um, Salford, and uh, also uh, Trafford Centre. It's a lot smaller than that. More like Finchley. More like Finchley, yeah, more like Finchley, about the size of Finchley. There's quite a big area up there. And, uh, that's quite nice. Um, generally, I quite like it. Uh, large metal chandeliers. And uh, uh, so the artwork over there, the two circular ones in the two circular frame, they look like photographs. And um, we have. They're like print. Like so some kind of textile print. And we have a uh, portrait. I quite like the portrait upon the uh, landing thing a bit. Uh, Chris. Yeah, well, one thing's quite concerning. I remember a staff uh, just from the food from Weatherspoons that we've just been in. And he's had it delivered here and he's eating a Weatherspoons burger. And Weatherspoons are like the worst burgers. And he should be sitting there eating a free meal from Nando's. So either he's worked here so long that he's so sick of Nando's that he prefer Weatherspoons, or Weatherspoons is better than this place. Which is worrying. I don't want to the rest of weather springs. So you spotted something? Yeah, this is apparently an award-winning Nando's. Um, I've got I'm not some sure. trophies up there. So you can't you can all out the picture, etc. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, apparently, maybe those things are for the mystery shopper. Apparently. They're from a mystery shopper? Yeah, this place was investigated by a mystery shopper and got good customer service. Ah, right, yeah. Because I had to switch the camera off because the guy said no filming. Yeah. So while we were telling them, the people at home what good customer service this place was, a customer service <laughs> This guy comes up and says, no, Bill. I'll tell you one thing, mate. That was quick. Came out in like three, four, five minutes tops. They're being quite quick with everything. Can't complain, and it's Friday night, so it should be busier than it is. I mean, Weatherspoons has a bouncer on it, even though it's just empty. <laughs> Alright, we've got a new section, it's four square tips, 
uh, there's an app and a website called Foursquare where you can check in and leave derogatory comments about random places. Uh, Alright, here we go. Eight, I'll say when it was. This was from April 2010. Igor L said, love Dando's, but this one has the worst customer service ever. Uh, March 2010, Fett says, overpriced, which has two likes. And then we're back to January 2012, Christina D says, great friendly staff, busy in evenings and on Chelsea FC match days, go on weekdays before peak times, it's a very good tip. June 2012, Heidi H says, try the chicken, it's a good tip there. July 2012, going right up to the modern day, uh, Atura F says, order was lazy, same food, twice the time. Uh, April 2012, Yulia C says, love grounding and positioning of the menu. <laughs> and uh, August 2010, Ryan S says, freaking tasty chicken. And September 2012, Chris Hinckley says, Nando's 57, halloumi takes five times longer to prepare than chicken. And that's the tips from Foursquare for Nando's 57 in Fulham Broadway. We have a local knowledge expert in our midst. Mel, she knows everything there is to know about the local area. So some facts about Fulham Broadway. Yes, Fulham Broadway slash North End Road. Uh, not the best road. Supposedly, even though Full and Broadway is pretty rich, but there's a local pub on the corner. So if you're anyone, they'll be pretty pervy towards you as you walk by. Um, and also, pretty sure there's a car wash up the road, which is all about druggies and the mafia. So that's good. Drop in. They'll be pretty nice here. Maybe give you some free drugs if you're willing. Um, if you're not willing, well, then you'll probably be dead because they're the mafia. So, you know. So that's about it, otherwise it's pretty boring, to be honest, it's just a bunch of poor people on North End Road. Yeah. Is there a South End Road? No. Oh. Sorry. They missed their chance there. Yeah, not around here, maybe further towards South End. There might be a South End Road going to South End, but that'll be further east. Anyway, I used to live down the road as well, down the Fulham Road. This is shit. Don't live here, don't live here. Le guest, what up? Who, uh, who's joining me today? Um, first of all, ridiculously loud. Yeah. I'm having to shout to talk to you. Uh, okay, let's check this place out quickly. Hmm. Door doesn't open. Further than two foot. Not a good start, Nando's. This one opens almost fully. Yeah, mm, not the cleanest toilets that I've seen. Dripping taps. Not good. It's just a bit loud, a bit hot, a bit crowded. You've got all the facilities, but I'm not going to enjoy waiting here, I'll be honest with you. Um, haven't done this for a while. I can't remember the last one I gave, but this is going to get two flushes or three flushes? Two. Two flashes. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. You heard it first. Don't come to you here. We're going to review now. Full and Broadway, Nando's 57. I'm going to let Chris go first because I think uh, he knows what, it, what he thinks already. So, Chris. For a Friday night, it was all right. We were sitting here under the light. I didn't need to go to the toilet to have a shot. I just sat at the table. Stinks a bit. They were quite quick uh, with some of the stuff, not the Illumi. But the chicken came out super quick. It's because I probably got someone earlier's order because it definitely wasn't extra hot or anything really. Pretty generic in here. The service is good enough though, but the food is a bit crusty around the outsides. You know, I have no massive complaints. Free cocks. Hello. Um, yeah, nothing really to complain about apart from Andy's uh, halloumi. 
supposed to come it's out all immediately. About it. Yeah, let's, no, no, no. I'm, I'm removing a cop on behalf of, of that cop um, for his halloumi issues. Uh, the staff were really, really nice, very friendly, and uh, very apologetic almost, even when they were coming to clear, clear your plates away. You know, very polite and nice. Um, the place is pretty good, pretty spacious. The lighting's nice. Um, I really can't fault it. My food was nice. It's a pretty good Nando's, Nando's. I'm giving it four pots. Hey, oh, oh what, are we doing final reviews? Indeed we are. Yeah, it's a nice enough place, it's not too busy, decor's alright, food was decent, can't really complain, the staff were okay. I'll give it a solid four. Oh, okay. My food was good, I had a uh, half of you know, get chicken. It was quite pasty, a little dry at the edges, but the middle was moist. My actual food, five wings, uh, chips and garlic bread, pasty, no complaints whatsoever. I know it took a while to come out, but... Well, I hadn't finished eating, so I couldn't complain. I will give it four. Hello. I give it four. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> How many did you Yeah, you got to rate it out of five cots being the most, zero being the least. I'd probably give it a four. Absolutely. Or cots. Please state your reasons. <laughs> I mean, it, it actually, to be fair, it came out a little bit late, um, but it was pretty good, even in a wrap. That's what I had, I had a chicken wrap. Uh, not so hot, uh, the chicken was pretty good, and I actually did the sauces. I'll give you a little, little show there. So, the extra, extra hot tasted extra, extra hot, although I've been told otherwise. So it's pretty fair, so that's why I give four cups out of five. Uh, it was alright. I thought you were going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sure um, right. makes you sick. Don't come here. It's terrible. Zero cops. Worst restaurant. Never eat it. Uh, three so cops. I'd say three cops. It was quite nice. Very generic. Nothing special. Um, I don't know. That seems a bit harsh, but four seems a bit too high for me. So three. Three for me. Three and a half? No. I'll do three. I'll do three. Uh, but that was it. I think we all enjoyed ourselves. Uh, I guess we'll see you all next time at 58. Uh, what's the next one? I don't even know what the next one no is. No one knows what the next one is. It's probably in like, some shithole like Wolverhampton. Isn't it Wolverhampton the next one? What? I'm not going to oh, What? Sure I don't think so. No, we both said that, that but I don't up. think it is. Alright. So no one wants it. So no one wants it to be Wolverhampton, but it is coming up, so we have to go there sometime. Who knows? Anyway, wherever 58 is, we'll see you there. See you go there tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Say bye. bye.